All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at it. And today, we're gonna be taking a look at the corn cannon from Flashing Fireworks. Pretty cool design on the tube there. Nice kind of holographic wrapper on the shells. Let's pick out. We got a brocade to crackle in there, I see. I'll grab that one. holographic wrapping. It's pretty cool. All the shells are obviously labeled. Check this guy out here. Grab a weight on the BP first. grams of BP for lift. Kind of a finer grain BP. Get into the good stuff here. Wafers glued in really nice. Gonna help keep everything contained in there. Definitely make it louder that way. Yeah. Clay plug is very tightly packed. Also aids in the noise factor. looking stars in there. All right, 34 grams of stars and burst. That puts the corn cannon grams 46 grams puts the corn can in kind of below average for composition but the way the way the shell is built it's going to be I mean it's still going to be pretty loud so we'll uh we'll go touch this sucker off and see how she looks fellas have a good one Alright guys, we're going to take another look at one of these corn cannons. Uh, I'm going to do chrysanthemum to red. You know, if I put something out there that says that these are below your average 60 gram, that you guys are going to like burn me at the stake in the comments. So, 
we'll take a look at one more just to be certain. So we got 12 grams of BP for lift. The last one was 11. glued in the same kind of fashion. Moment of truth. Yep, so we're at 40, 47 grams overall. Can you guys see that? So that's two of them, just so you guys know. Not pulling any shenanigans here. So these are in the you know subpar category, comparative to the myriad of others that I've tried. We'll uh, we'll put one up in the air, see how they look and see how they sound. But as far as composition weights, they're running low.